I would hear stories growing up from my Navajo father, and I'd hear certain stories from my uncle's Cherokee ancestry. And from time to time, they would bring up funny stories, uh, animal stories, uh, I particularly liked the animal stories. The Uktan is what we're gonna talk about today. Uktan was a large creature, a serpent, and it had uh, antlers on its head and a crystal right in the center of its forehead. And the Uktan was uh, based upon the number of stories I've heard from other storytellers. It was, was sort of like a creature that symbolized almost death. One of the oldest stories I know is that the Uktan at one time was found by two boys. They were out hunting. When they came over the top of a hill and they saw this large serpent out there, it seemed to be weak, and the serpent began to speak to him. says, I would keep you all safe if you'll feed me. Just keep feeding me. I'm, 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 I feel like I'm dying. I couldn't eat anything. Just before you can bring me a rabbit or a squirrel, anything. So the boys decide to feed the serpent. So they go out there and they leave, and they come back with some rabbits and some squirrels and begin to feed it. So when they leave, and they come back a few days later to check on him. He's gotten a little bit bigger. And they give him some more food, and they leave again. But boys being boys, they tend to forget about him. And then they remember him, they go back. And when they go back, he's gotten larger. And he's sitting there and they see flashes of lightning from his eyes. And he keeps telling us to bring me some more food. Uh, his idea is basically to trick them to get him closer and closer so that they, when they toss the food at him, he can eat it. But if he wants to get him to the point where they trust him, that he gets close enough that he can eat the boys. Well, one day as they're walking along, they hear flashes and see thunder in the sky. And thunders, a human-like being comes down, and they watch as thunders come down, and they hear this thrashing and sounds of battle. And so they come over top of the hill and say, that's where that snake lives. And when they come over there, there's this giant snake wrapped itself around thunders, choking and squeezing thunder. Thunder's trying to hold a snake off, but thunder's beginning to weaken. Thunder sees the boys and says, help me. You're, you're, you're part of me. Come help me. The snake is evil. It's going to kill everybody. So the Uktan turns and looks at the boys and says, you fed me. You continue to feed me. Thunder is the one who's evil. Thunder comes up in the sky. It turns the sky dark. Thunder is the one who's evil. The boys look at each other and they look at thunder. And they see thunder getting weaker and weaker. So they decide to take their arrows and they start to shoot at the Uktan. They hit the spots. And he has different spots on his body where the scales are at. And as they're shooting the arrows, they begin to weaken the Uktan. The Uktan's eyes are flashing. Thunder begins to get a little bit more strength, starts to crawl back out, and then Thunder says, it's the seventh spot, you gotta hit the seventh spot. So they aim with their bows and arrows and hit the seventh spot, and they take care of the Uktan, and Uktan falls over and dies. Thunder comes up, tells the boy, says, he's still, he's gone, but his spirit's still coming out. So it's gonna come out as smoke and try to chase you. Don't breathe in the smoke, so you're gonna have to set fires, at least seven fires away from him. So the two boys run off and set fires. And so Thunder's trying to keep the smoke away from the boys, and as the fires are lit, every time the smoke gets close to it, it begins to weaken and weaken. Finally, they've lit the seventh fire, and the smoke dissipates. Thunder goes to the boys and says, Thank you for saving my life. We are part of each other. You will hear me in the sky from time to time. When you hear me in the sky, don't worry. I am here as your part of helping you, because rain and thunder are one, and we use water as well. And what I mean by that is that Cherokees have been known to go to water from time to time for healing purposes. And that is a story that I've heard from uh, about the Uktan and the two boys in Thunder. <laughs>